In the 1960s, America was badly rattled when arch-rival Russia sent the now famous menstrual cramping monkey into orbit. Shortly thereafter, a small group of male menstrual cramp sufferers within America's budding space program became determined to beat Russia to a cure through a top secret mission called the Sagittarius Project. Their heroic cramp-filled story has until now never been told because everyone involved has been way too embarrassed. They tried to time the launch so that no one would have to endure multiple Gs while they were cramping. Oh, that would be a terrible combination for an astronaut. You'd be a menstronaut. After male cramps canceled the launches of Sagittarius 1, 2, 3, and 4, Sagittarius 5 scheduled their launch in the dead of night on December 20th, 1969 to ensure secrecy and because the other dudes weren't using the launch pad that night. These men were special and they were all on the same cycle. To diminish any pain, they ate food out of a tube and slept in vertical sleeping bags. They wore special tummy warming suits designed to combat cyclical, uterine, or whatever the hell it was called. Finally, those guys get their butts on the moon, okay? Uh, and so they're sitting there on the moon in their capsule and uh, their cycles started to match up as can happen. The zero gravity completely cured their cramps, leading them to decide to take a little unscheduled stroll on the surface of the moon. So they're sitting there in their capsule on the moon trying to figure out who's going to go out and, you know, do the walk. In the spirit of the late 60s, they removed their suits and were planning to frolic around nude on the moon when tragedy struck. The absence of the tummy warming suits caused unexpected bloating and cramping more intense than the government scientists could have ever predicted. Ironically, the very cramps that sent them to the moon would force them back to Earth. So they're sitting there in their capsule on the moon, and they began cramping and crying. And as you know, when you're in a space capsule, there is no gravity, very little gravity on the moon. Their tears went into the electronic equipment. There was 60s computers then. It's not what we have now. Ground control was forced to abort the secret mission. All records of the failed mission were erased, and the crew was asked to keep their whiny, crampy mouths shut, or else. The space agency officially abandoned their quest for a cramp's cure, refocusing on other stuff, like controlling the weather, blowing up giant meteors, and grooming a monkey to run for president. What will we remember about America? Well, in the end, I think it's three things. Baseball is one. Jazz, the only true American art form, is another. And the Great Chicago Fire. Polio vaccine, the Civil War of 1812. Corn. Male menstrual cramps, of course. Uh, email scams. How many is that? From ancient times, since he crawled out of the caves, man has struggled against powerful foes. He has struggled to build families and to build civilizations. He has made war. He has conquered the seas and space and taught squirrels to water ski. And to think it started out with moon pain and ended up on the moon. It's fantastic. It's a cycle. It's not a monthly cycle, but it is one long cycle, a long, magical, crampy cycle.